Today's play is John by Adam Milano, and uh, let's just everybody say who they are playing, and then we'll begin. Jackie, I'm reading stage directions. I'm Katie Kane, I'm reading Girlfriend's Authority. I'm Ben Chavez, and I'm reading Authority. Wow. I'm Michael Hughes, and I'm reading Page Boy. I'm Stephen Meyer, and I'm reading for Sweater. <laughs> I'm James Just, and I'm reading Sweat Pants. I'm Michael Suzuki, and I'm reading Sweat Shirt. <laughs> John, by Adam Characters, Authority, Sweater, Sweatpants, Sweatshirt, Page Boy, and Girlfriend's Authority. Time, Present. Place, John's Personality Command Center. Center stage, there is one chair that is empty. It is a bland chair that isn't comfortable to look at or to sit on. It's the kind of chair that only looks right when it's empty, a chair you'd expect to find center stage. Sweatpants enters in right in baggy, worn, dark gray sweatpants and a sleeveless undershirt. Simultaneously, Sweater enters stage left wearing expensive jeans that are an unnatural blue with a tight v-neck sweater and a collared shirt underneath. The collar is coming out of the top. Sweatshirt enters stage right as well, but from a more upstage wing. He is wearing loose jeans and a hooded sweatshirt with some sort of sports team logo on front. Um, he wears a beaten up hat that is cocked up. They line up behind the chair. They acknowledge each other and stand at the military at his position looking forward. They look with purpose, but it is not a strong look, not an impenetrable stare. Authority, dressed in black with a clipboard, he, dressed in black with a clipboard, walks on with an urgent pace. He has no reason to be urgent. It is merely his nature. He walks downstage right of the chair, reviewing his clipboard. Without looking up, he speaks. Girlfriend. The three look at each other only for a moment. Though their through their look, it is understood that the boy in the sweater should take the chair. He does so. He sits there straight as a board, looking un looking pleasant. It's been a hard day for her. You notice this. You give her a longer hug than usual when she walks in the room because you want her to feel good about herself. As you sit down, you run your fingers over you think you run your fingers overhand. She smiles. Well done. You make a joke about the menu. She laughs. When the waitress comes over, you make it very clear that you two are a couple. But you remain charming towards the waitress. You ask about her day. She talks. You stay alert. You laugh when you're supposed to, and you ask thoughtful questions. Page Boy scurries on the stage and hands the authority a small slip of paper. Okay, gentlemen, we have a call from the best friend. Best friend. Without discussion, Sweatshirt walks forward and sits in a seat that Sweater just got up from. Sweater assumes the at ease position in back. Speak to the best friend. Curse once. Make fun of him slightly. Tell him you'll call him later. Hang up. Girlfriend. Sweatshirt gets up and Sweater sits back down. Smile at your girlfriend. Remember exactly where she left off and talk about your take on it a little. Sound intelligent. Stop yourself, apologize for doing the majority of the talking, and speculating on her situation. She asks you if you two can continue the evening at her place. Respectfully decline. She asks you again. Make a joke about it, and then respectfully decline once more. She asks once more. Sweatpants moves up next to the chair and stands at ease once more. She tries to make you feel bad this time. Sweatpants taps the sweater on the shoulder. They switch places. Tell her you're too tired and to stop asking. Don't offer to cover the check. Watch the TV over her head. Play with the fork on the table. Give one word answers. Glance at her judgmentally when she stares her, when she shares her honest opinion. Tell her to call her parents for a ride because you're not sure you're going that way. She calls her parents. They will be here in five minutes. The waitress comes back. Waitress! Sweater goes to the chair and Sweatpants stands next to the chair at ease. Flatter the waitress. Ask her how her night has been. Ask how long her shift is. Make a quick joke. Give her a substantial tip. She leaves. Girlfriend. Sweatpants and Sweater switch places again. She receives a call. It's her parents. Get up and walk her out of the restaurant. You see her parents' car. Parents! Sweatpants and Sweater switch places again. Go up to the window. Ask how their holiday was. Tell them to say hi to the rest of the family. Smile bashfully when they tell you how happy they are that you are in her life. Back away from their car playfully while waving goodbye. Stand for a second watching the car go away with your hands in your pocket. Look charming. Walk towards your car. Post girlfriend. Sweatpants and sweater switch again. You unlock your car an unnecessary amount of times. There is a water bottle in the parking lot. Kick it. The page boy from before scurries on with another sheet of paper. Your neighbor drives by. Wave charmingly and smile. 
Act surprised and happy. Neighbor. While he is saying this, sweater and sweatpants scramble to switch places. They wave back and drive off. Post girlfriend. Sweatpants takes the seat. You drive to your best friend's house. You sit back in your seat and hang your hand over the wheel. There is no music to describe your mood. You just go a little faster than the speed limit. You arrive at your best friend's house. Best friend. Sweatshirt sits in the chair. The other two boys are at ease behind the chair. You get out of the car and lock it once. There is a skateboard in the driveway. You ride it to the front door and let yourself in. Your best friend's mom is in the kitchen. Best friend's mom. Sweater takes his place in the seat. 